Hello, and welcome to our latest installment of our Splunk Awesome Admins Tech Talk series. Today we'll be showing you a new feature in Splunk Cloud, the new Data Manager. The new Data Manager that is specifically designed to simplify your data onboarding experience in Splunk Cloud. Hi, I am Greg Daly, Technical Marketing Manager of Platforms here at Splunk. Today I'll be joined by Yojesh, who, who is our product manager for Splunk Platforms. We will be taking you through various aspects of getting data in, or GDI, and showing Splunk users a demo of the new data manager feature. Today's agenda includes, getting data into Splunk Cloud can be a challenge, hence the new feature. Introducing Data Manager for Easy Cloud Native Data Onboarding. We'll be giving a demo of the new Data Manager and showing you how to onboard AWS Cloud Native Data. And as always, then we'll point you out some additional resources to assist you with your Splunk journey. Let's talk about first Getting data in, or the concept of, as we Splunkers refer to it, GDI. What can Splunk ingress? Splunk environments can ingest a plethora of data from a myriad of sources and a variety of methods. Splunk users have the option of getting data in through aggregated API sources via the heavy forwarders. Linux logs and Windows events, including Active Directory topology information, as well as OS statistics via the universal forwarders. Cloud native data such as AWS, GCP, Azure, and Office 365. Wire data streaming or sending into the HTTP event collector or the hex service. The hex service is a token-based ingress method to collect data. DevOps, IoT, and containers via agentless HTTP event collectors, or HEC. Syslog hosts of all types, from switches and routers and firewalls to hypervisors and power protection units. File and folder monitoring on virtually any platform. If you need more information on the topic of getting data in, GDI, please view one of my other tech talks entitled, you guessed it, Getting Data In. It's available at Splunk.com. And Syslog users, if you are not familiar with dealing with Syslog at scale, definitely check out the GDI tech talk as well as going over to YouTube to learn how to provide a proper and scalable syslog ingress via the Splunk Connect for Syslog. SC4S is a turnkey and scalable syslog GDI solution. Why Data Manager for Splunk Cloud? Data Manager provides a clean and a modern UI to access growing number of cloud data sources, data sources that will only grow and get more complex in the future. Data Manager provides a faster time to value of minutes, not hours or days of onboarding multiple services, regions, and accounts. Data Manager helps manage the complexities of onboarding data by automating prerequisites, baking in best practices, always applying the correct ingest pattern, and maintaining currency or currentness. Data Manager provides a single page for data operations. Create, read, update, delete on configs, monitoring status, health checks, and notifications. Splunk Cloud users can easily ingest cloud native data with Data Manager. Again, you can now configure data onboarding in literally minutes within a modern UX 
and with built-in best practices for a variety of cloud native data. Critically for expanding data teams, Data Manager provides a centralized data management tool to create, manage, monitor, and very importantly, troubleshoot your data configurations. Data Manager allows Splunk Cloud users to do all of these tasks in one place. Let me turn it over to Yojesh, our product manager for platforms, and he will take us through a demo of the new data manager feature. Take it away, Yojesh. Let's take a quick look at Splunk Cloud's new and upcoming data manager. So this is the Splunk Cloud homepage, and over here you see data manager on the left panel in the apps. Let's click on data manager. This takes you to the data manager, data management homepage, where you can see all your configured data inputs in one, one place. We will come back to this page and explore this a little bit more, but let's first start with creating a new data input. So once you select this, it asks you to select a cloud service data provider. We are starting with AWS and then adding Azure and GCP in this and our Microsoft 365 as well. So let's select AWS. Once you've selected AWS, in the next screen, it asks you which are the AWS data sources that you want to onboard Using, uh, in using Data Manager. You can select one or more. I'm going to select IAM Access Analyzer. Then it asks you to select, are you onboarding data from multiple AWS accounts or one individual AWS account? Uh, multiple AWS accounts makes it, makes it simpler and more automated to onboard data from, from um, multiple um, AWS accounts without having to repeat the steps again and again or writing elaborate scripts and maintaining them. Uh, AWS organization support com is coming up soon in, in the in, in coming release. Let's select single account and click on next. Now on this, this page, you see, you see a quick overview of what are the exact steps that you're going to do in this onboarding process and what exactly happens to these each steps. This gives you clarity, to be, clarity for yourself as a Splunk admin, as well as for the AWS admin to understand exactly what is done in the whole onboarding process. Once you have understood this, we show you the prerequisites in a central location where it tells you exactly what are the prerequisites that need to be need to be done, um, and these are something that you could you could work through together with your AWS admin or do them yourselves depending on the privileges that you have. The the, the prerequisites require you to basically create a a, a, a trust account between uh, between AWS and Splunk as well as the option of creating an onboarding user. Depending on the data sources, you might have a couple more uh, of the prerequisites as well. Once you have set up the prerequisites, you click on next, and then you enter a, uh, enter a data input name for this data input. Let's call it uh, AWS uh, Data Manager Demo. And over here, you provide your, your 12 digit AWS account ID, and you select the regions for that account where you want to onboard the data from. As you can see over here, in real time, it has checked if the prerequisites have been, have been set up for this AWS account already. So if there are any errors, you see them upfront right here rather than later. You can select which Splunk index you want to send, uh, send the data into. Select the regions, and then I say review data input. Next, it shows me a screen to review what I've entered. Not only that, but it's also introspecting into the AWS account and showing me all the account IDs um, for the account ID that I entered, uh, what data sources are available, and the ones that are selected are they are they available and ready to collect data from? If there was an error in any of these or warnings, these would show up right over here. And then I could go and fix them and come back and click on refresh over here. So let's say this all looks good. The account ID is found and the necessary services are, are, are something that uh, Splunk uh, Data Manager can see. You click on AWS Setup Instructions. This is the final step where, where we generate a template for you, cloud formation template that you can run within your AWS account. So all the data ingestion is set up. Once this, once this template is ready for download, which it is over here, I can download the template and run it, run it uh, on my AWS console. How do I run it? All the instructions are right here, the CLI instructions, as well as the console instructions, whichever option I choose. I can go and run these, um, uh, run these commands uh, or do these through the console. I just click on this and download the template. If I wish, I can open the template and take a look at what the, exactly the template contains. I also can see exactly over here, what are the, what are the resource types? 
that this uh, that this template creates in case you AWS admin or you want to review these uh, as well. Once this is done, uh, you can uh, finish the setup and come out. And now over here, you can see this, this a second entry has appeared for the new data input that we just created, showing you exactly what, uh, what is the status. Now, I did not, by showing you the demo, I did not go and run the AWS commands. So over here it's, it's saying deployment status has not found. But if you if you look at uh, if you look at the other configuration over here, you will see the status is different, which will go uh, over here. I can I can also see the once it's set up, I can see account ID, the account set, account details, account level details, how the setup is. Uh, I can see uh, if I if I if I need to get the template again, or I need to, or I need to look at the steps to set up the AWS templates. I can also uh, I can also review those steps uh, again over here, uh, right um, that we saw earlier before. Um, Let's close this and let's take a look at this one, which is an existing uh, setup that has been completed. So over here, it shows me that this uh, particular data input has one data account and four data, data types, one region. Uh, last data was received on September 8th and the deployment status is looking good. It's success. It shows me that within, within that account, these were the stack, temp stack templates that were created and the health looks all okay. If there are any failures, I would see them right over here with additional information on the failures as well. I can also edit these configurations or I can delete these configurations as well and so on and so forth. So basically Splunk Cloud's new data manager gives you a central place to manage all your data inputs and offers you a simplified, automated and much faster way to onboard, onboard data from AWS and other data sources coming up uh, that gives you faster time to value so that you can start using this data for the, for the analytics and insights that your business needs. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you, Yojesh, for that great demo. Now let's take a look at the additional resources available to the Splunk community. Community.splunk.com is where you can get the latest info on products and get announcements on new features and enhancements, such as the new data manager for Splunk Cloud. Answers.splunk.com where you can get tips, methods, and peer support on a wide variety of Splunk topics from how to do it in SPL to configuring and using new features. Docs.splunk.com is where everything you need to know, including step-by-step -step instructions on everything Splunk. Please follow our blogs, podcasts, and even our Twitch streams to read up and view the latest information on our products, features, and services. Always remember that Splunk users can provide product feedback and submit suggestions through our community pages. As always, let's continue the conversation on community.splunk.com. Sign up or sign into the community to get to Splunk Answers and search the tag Data Manager to share or view best practices. You can also discuss items for platforms in the Tech Talk section, and you can submit your ideas or vote up other requests and enhancement for our various solutions. Again, I am Greg Daly, Technical Marketing Manager for Platforms here at Splunk. I hope you enjoyed today's awesome admin Tech Talks on the new Data Manager for Splunk Cloud. Thank you for attending and have a great day.